With Resident Evil Village now in the gamer's hands, fans all over the world have taken to the game like a giant mutating fish to water. The game's twisting plot and fantastic enemy design have shaken the community to its core, with lore junkies everywhere scouring the game for any tidbits of info they can speculate over. This is James from First Day Spray, and here are 5 theories and ideas about Resident Evil Village. Disclaimer: Some of these are still theories right now with no confirmation from Capcom, but I thought we could run with it, along with evidence proven in-game. The Downfall of the Village We're given snippets of information through the game on what happened to this village and why it's so important to the story. But at the very end of the game, we're shown a very clear view of the horrors that befell it through the credits. In a very similar fashion to Resident Evil 4, we see a family being struck with the plague, the mother dying first. Then we see the rest of the village coming down with this awful affliction. The girl of the family also contracts the disease, but then a shining church of Miranda is shown like a beacon, the villagers flock to this place of rescue. Miranda then prays to the Great Ones with the help of the village and she offers the Kadu in disguise as a vaccine. The child is saved, having a high affinity with the Kadu, but most of the village succumbs to the infection, changing them into monsters, including, quite strikingly, her father. Makes you wonder who this little girl who bonded so well with the Kadu is. It's possible. Mutual Respect the main threat of the game, other than Lady D's foot size, is Mother Miranda, an individual that has a tenuous relationship with her children, also known as the other bosses of the game. Miranda works alone in her experiments, but once this wasn't so. We learned within Miranda's labs that none other than Oswell E. Spencer was once a keen student of Miranda's. We're not sure in dates, but most likely in the 1930s, as Oswell Spencer mentions he left 15 years ago but the letter was written after World War II and during the infancy of Umbrella. From photos within the lab, we see that Oswell and Miranda spent a great deal of time together and grew close. Whether platonically or romantically, this relationship could have blossomed into something of a dream team with Oswell attempting to achieve immortality in his later life. Alas, the irony of it was that Oswell attempted to use the research he gained from Miranda to build an empire and achieve a selfish desire whereas Miranda was always trying to achieve one goal, to bring her daughter back. Could it be then, that Miranda was fully aware she had the means to make Oswell immortal, but continually rebuffed him due to her love or respect for the man, because she knew that if Oswell came under the control of the Mega My seat, he could not have left the village to achieve his own goals, caging a mind she respected and held dear. The Kadu over the course of the game, Resident Evil Village steadily introduces you to one of its main threats, the Kadu. Created by injecting an ancient parasite with samples from what we eventually learn is the Megami Seat, a primordial living library of memories that uses living beings as hosts before assimilating their knowledge into its own databanks, leaving the victim in various states of nasty. But did you know the Kadu had another name? In the insect observations note in the castle section of the game, we first learn of the Kadu, and as we delve further into this nightmare we see it mentioned more. Kadu means gift in Romanian. This was likely named this way so Mother Miranda could manipulate the villagers to help them during the influenza that ravaged Europe during 1918, not knowing that it was her mission to experiment and achieve her own personal goal of bringing her daughter back. Perhaps, just as importantly, this explains why the Baker family repeatedly refer to Evelyn's power as her gift, telling Ethan to accept her gift. In the Japanese version of the game, Miranda's diary reveals that these parasites were called nematodes before being subjected to the Megami seat and reproduced asexually by cloning themselves. A gift of thanks. Nope. Not that kind, but one in the form that we all know and love without the side effects of lycanthropy and death. On the way to the Bienviento house, you notice that the path is barren of anything. The valley has been completely stripped bare, including the graves. But after you have dealt with her horrorness and make your way back, you will notice several bird cages, gems, and enemies sprout up, and when you have gotten back to the village graveyard, one of the ossuaries has opened to reveal the broken slab needed to gain Claudia Bienviento's treasure. Is this all in thanks from Claudia Bienviento for ridding her home of Angie? Could this be Claudia within the Mega My seat, manipulating the village, her memories forever locked in stasis? Does this mean that destroying the Mega My seat 
destroyed hundreds of innocent lives or souls as well? If so, Claudia and all the other lords assisted you in taking care of the Great One, aka the Megami Seat and Mother Miranda. The Duke, our gateway into making the game that much more fun. The Duke is the merchant of the game and seamlessly pops up where you least expect, inside spaces that would barely fit his girth through the door. But what if I was to tell you he has a very important spot inside this game that's more than finest fish or quality meats? Another disclaimer, this is heavy speculation. To tie in with the gift of thanks theory, this land once had four lords controlling the local area. But who controlled the region? This theory is a wild one, but stay with me here. So, the Mega My Seat absorbs memories and is a data bank of sorts that can manifest strong memories with a single purpose. For instance, Ethan and finding his daughter, or Mother Miranda and bringing her daughter back from the dead. So what if the Duke died visiting the village during the vaccination event and was absorbed into the Mega My Seat? An individual memory so strong that it manifested into the merchant to assist you like the Lord's memories did to finally take down the Mega My Seat and Miranda. This would explain his unusual locations and explains him giving you some of the most powerful equipment in the game by accepting the gifts of the Lords from Ethan with the cost of Lei to best prepare him for what's to come. The Duke warns Ethan that he can no longer return to the world he once knew at the end of the game when he has him in his wagon. This proves that the Duke knows an awful lot more than he initially puts out there, along with his constant references to the bosses of the game and items he holds after certain events are played through. This proves to me that the Duke is a part of this land like everyone else is you encounter in the village, controlled, but not quite shackled by the Mega My Seat or Mother Miranda. And that's it! Five theories and ideas about Resident Evil Village. If you think you have any theories to share with us, let us know below. Or check out our Discord where we are in heavy discussion about this game. And consider becoming a patron for earlier videos and rewards. I've been James from First Aid Spray and... Filthy Man Thing!